wow efcc has done a very 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 good job can you just imagine they have done wonderful of course this is what they are used to this is their area of a specialty or you say area of specialization they are so good in this kind of a thing and they always you know massage their egos when it comes to this kind of operation that they've just carried out and let us know what exactly we are talking about operations of the enugu zona command of the economic and financial crimes commission efcc have arrested 100 suspected internet fosters popularly known as yahoo boys wow clap 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 the suspects were arrested on wednesday at different locations across the states according to a post on efcc's official ex andy the arrest followed actionable intelligence about suspected activities of an organized syndicate of internet fosters operating along ibagwa nike and other locations in enugu metropolis items recovered from them include three exotic cars mobile phones and laptops the suspect according to the post will be arraigned in courts upon the conclusion of the investigation you know no uh, no form of resist and all of that it's just so peaceful you know i always say you they can they will tell you oh you nobody can fight governments nobody can fight governments Fair, let me tell you it is only the soft targets that cannot fight the governments only the soft targets i repeat it they are the set of people that cannot fight governments those who are law abiding in another case those who they feel that say oh they can't even they are not say that's a violent mm -mm. they don't be violent people but when it comes to uh, the real people who are using official you know who are making who are even a yahoo yahoo men using official and the government to do that they are politicians majority of them they won't they can't go after them at least you can bear me witness recently with uh, the case of uh, the former governor of uh, Kogi State, Yaya Bello. Till today, nothing has been said. Nothing has been said. Just to arrest him. Not that he has immunity. He doesn't have immunity. But just to arrest him. Oh my God. It's a tug of war. But these kind of people are uh, forget it. And these are the things that they always try to. I'm sure. I don't think maybe they are. I think maybe they are just trying to showcase these guys. To make them look like. Oh, the kind of thing happening. Or the kind of things things happening in nigeria the kind of corruption that we are experiencing is as a result of these people they are the face of corrupt corruption in nigeria i think that is the narrative they are trying to say but unfortunately unfortunately for them that is not how the whole world is seeing them it is always difficult for these people to get even one politician even when one of them came to admit to us that yes they are into corruption but they see use it to help the people alin dume this is not a matter of a uh, oh one is trying to be diplomatic or one is trying to be uh, politically correct or just trying to disguise it's ali indume they asked him and on national tv he said it and he admitted that they are corrupt but they all see they see how use it for the masses or the masses are the ones who pro propel them to go into corruption and he, he came out and told us the kind of punishment that should be meted to them. Those who steal above trillions, uh -huh, and they, there should be a kind of a punishment that defeats them. But those who, you know, otherwise, you know, you know what I'm talking about. It's unfortunate. Yes, so Nigerians, of course, they will react. You don't expect them to keep quiet. When will the politicians be arrested for stealing our resources? Because even when you look at it, the so-called Yahoo boys they are talking about, the kind of money you hear that they steal or whatever they are alleged to have stolen it, it can't be compared to what our politicians even that steal. these things are on the papers or the pages of newspaper even the efcc are corrupt people because last last those cars will be their own just like we heard that one of a uh, top police officer who arrested or who you know in possession of a stolen items and before you could say jack robinson he has converted them to his personal use. Yes, you are happy to arrest Yahoo boys when the government has not even created just for them. This is not how to fight crime. If the government of Nigeria are treating their citizens well, do you think our uh, youths will engage in Yahoo? If you want to fight crime, fight crime 
the main causes of the crime, which is poverty. How sure are you that the Atuli Yahoo boys are being will be our country again? Country where they celebrate uh, criminals but shame the innocent. Yahoo Nation does come. Deception everywhere. Yahoo is all about lying to steal someone's money. Period identity theft. So so common in southern Nigeria than northern Nigeria. Criminal elements everywhere. Wow. Wahoo. <laughs> Police now nah, only enough Yahoo. Okay, it's enough now. Nah, only Yahoo boys day. What of Yahoo? Yaya Bill. Ah, yeah, long, long. Yaya Bill. Okay, <laughs> Yaya Bill. Okay, for what the innocent boys are spared. Okay, mm. okay. Huh? It is wickedness and injustice to arrest people who are making money from foreigners and using it to improve lives and living politicians who are stealing and looting our economy dry and making life difficult for the masses. Let me tell you one thing. What is good for the youth is good for the youngers. For the fathers who are saying EFCC is not doing the right thing, does not give some people or give you the right to go and do what is not right. You know what? They go use you to shine because it is not the right thing to do nobody encourages anybody to go into fraud it is not allowed at all but what we are saying is that what is good for the youth is good for the ganders stop involving or getting yourself involved in anything that is not going to you are not going to be proud of let me just put it that way something you are not going to be proud of why should you be involved in such a thing what we are saying is that why is it that the same energy the same approach why can't the efcc use this on our politicians who are the real corporates as far as uh, this whole thing is concerned the yabelo is moving freely they will go back and do a manner of things we are talking of billions of naira no it is not uh, enough the efcc boss the other time was telling us about how he's going to resign if the yabelo is not going to be arrested meaning that uh, he was really really short and adamant that uh, yes this man is going to be arrested but what do we have to do so guys let's say your opinion and have your tea on this